What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be showcasing a replay between another deck from Tactical Masters with the Labyrinth deck facing a strong deck that we got from Power of the Elements in Sprite. But before I begin, if you happen to enjoy content like this, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated as they go a long way in supporting the channel and show me that you like content like this. So, to begin, we'll see that the Labyrinth player opens fairly well as he has a shifter here, and I believe he's also going first, and he also has access to Ariana, so we'll see that he's going to use the Ariana effect right now, and he's going to add the Chandra, and from there he's going to use the shifter's effect, and chain the Chandra, which will likely send the backjack here, and from there the backjack can also get its effect, but we'll see the set of Labyrinth Labyrinth first as the backjack will now activate, and the player in blue is, or the player in red is just catching up to what happened here, and we'll see that he's going to banish three and stack them, but he's going to activate the Labyrinth Labyrinth. Pass to the Sprite player who gets Crow for turn, and we'll see he's going to use Light Stage here, which will be met by a Welcome Labyrinth. And uh, he's going to chain the Backjack here to that, which gets him the D Barrier, which is kind of big here, as the effect of Labyrinth Labyrinth is also going to pop stage, which stage would still get an add here as Labyrinth Labyrinth happens in a new chain, but we'll see that the sprite player is going to admit defeat regardless, as there wasn't much he could do amongst other sets. We'll now see that the sprite player is going to go first here, and the Labyrinth player has three purple cards, so there's not going to be much that he can do going, so as we see the sprite player with two divas and a blue on board with the addition of Jet, and now we'll see the summon of Gigantic Sprite, the special summon of Red, and we'll then see the Gigantic Sprite activate here as he is likely going to summon Swap Frog, as we'll see the Swap Frog hit the board, the Swap will send the Ronin, and from there we'll see a link away into Sprite Elf, as the Sprite Elf can now use its effect, bringing back the Swap Frog, the Swap Frog can use its effect again, Sending the other copy of Swap Frog here, banishing the Swap Frog for the Ronin. The Ronin will special summon itself back. And now we'll see the summon of Toad. The special summon of Jet here with the Jet using its effect. And from here we'll see an addition of Smashers. And he'll set the Smashers and pass. We'll see that he's blue top deck Ichiroku's Ledger Book here. And uh, I don't think that there's much that the Labyrinth player can do going second here as even though he's going to attack over the elf here that's going to be met by smashers, we're going to see set four and pass as he's already used up his normal summon. The sprite elf will use its effect at the end of main phase two there, bringing back the diva. And from there we'll see a top deck imperm. The toad will use its effect, but this is where the solemn strike is going to come down, and the toad can use its effect here. Adding back probably Swap Frog here, as we'll see him add back the Diva, and he's going to say Think on Res here. As we go into main phase one, and we're gonna see the Monster Reborn come down, targeting Toad, which he can then bring back the Toad, and the Flatman player will end up scooping one of his traps along with Gas to go on. But we'll see that the sprite player is going to go second here, and he does have Effect Veiler and the Darla, which is nice, along with the Light Stage, which can take out a set card. So he does have ways to play around stuff, but we do see a Solemn Judgment, a Welcome Labyrinth, and a Terrors of the Overroot in the Labyrinth player's hand. As we see the Chandra come down, Blackjack, which is just such a good thing for this deck, as now he can stack the top three of his decks, set the remaining three cards in his hand. We'll then see the main phase one be okay as we see the activation of light stage. Welcome Labyrinth will be activated, chaining the backjack here, 
as we're going to see the trap trick there, and he has to show the log here as he accidentally looked in his deck to do it, but we'll also see the summon of the Silver Castle off the Welcome Labyrinth there, and we'll see the normal summon of Swap Frog. The uh, Terrors of the Overroot will be chained here, and from there he's also going to use the Castle's effect along with the Chandra to get itself back. And uh, we'll see that the Silver Castle is going to rip the Monster Reborn as they're going to continue play now. And uh, the Sprite player isn't necessarily in as great of a position now as the Solemn Judgment is going to come down which is kind of risky. I don't think the sprite player has used up his normals, but we'll see that the Godarla is going to come down here as he's trying to attempt to out the Silver Castle, but the Labyrinth Labyrinth has a pretty convenient effect, which is able to bring back a Labyrinth or a Fiend Monster or something like that. Yeah, a Fiend Monster from your graveyard. And that's going to be the Silver Castle as he uses the Trap Trick, which is the non-Labyrinth Trap card he needed in order to trigger the Labyrinth. But we'll see that the Lilith is going to be Normal Summon now. He's going to go into Battle Phase, attack over the Ronin, then attack for 4,900. And uh, that should actually have been 3,900, as the Lilith should be on 1,000 attack as it's original attack becomes 1,000 when it's normal summoned, but we'll see that the Ice Dragon's prison and the Ichiro prison book are going to be revealed here. He sets one of them, the Silver Castle, also uses its effect, and we see the reset of the Ledger book, I believe it was, and we'll see the Swap Frog now activate its effect, getting back the Ronin, and uh, we'll then see a chained Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch, which seals the match here as all the sprite player has as the Twin Twisters and the Effect Veiler. But anyways, if you guys made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I hope to get back onto combos and stuff, but I kind of do want the ban list to drop so that I can focus more towards content that may not age like milk so stay tuned for that but anyways i thank you for watching it's bones signing out